Hello everyone, Mike here, and it's been a while, but it's time to do some more fantasy wrestling booking. Uh, again, since it's been a while, this is basically where I take storylines that were supposed to happen but never did, and discuss how I would have uh, made it work. And today we're going to be discussing the Ultimate Warrior versus Jake the Snake Roberts. Of course, in the summer of 1991, they had Warrior feuding with The Undertaker, and Jake offered to help him, but it turned out to be a trick, and uh, Jake Roberts was actually with The Undertaker the whole time. Unfortunately, then everything at SummerSlam happened, and the feud never culminated. So how would I have made it work if things had not gone the way they did? Admittedly, a lot of this is going to be a lot of promos and house show matches because that's the era we were in. So I'm not going to be emulating a lot of the promos because I don't think I can do justice to an Ultimate Warrior promo or a Jake Roberts promo. But I can explain basically what we have going on. And we're going to build up to around the Survivor Series where we've got... Jake Roberts, IRS, and the Natural Disasters scheduled to face the Ultimate Warrior, the Big Boss Man, and the Legion of Doom. Shortly before Survivor Series, we're going to kind of do what we did with um, Macho Man. What actually happened with Macho Man. Uh, Jake tricks Warrior to get in the ring, attacks him, ties him into the ropes, and he sicks the Cobra on him. Now, the difference here is Warrior is, you know, taken out of the arena, convulsing, and Warrior is gone for a while. We don't see him right back. Uh, so at Survivor Series, of course, it's just a, a three-on-three match instead, and Jake's taken out of it. Jake will then have a match at Saturday night's main event, against, I'm trying to think actually on the spot here, who would be a fitting opponent for Jake in this time period that Jake could get a convincing win over, but it seems legit. And as much as I hate to do it because I'm a huge, huge fan of the guy, I got to go with El Matador Tito Santana because I feel it's viable. Tito, you know, is fresh off this uh, gimmick change, turning into El Matador, got a victory at the Survivor Series. So Jake getting a win over Tito is a good way to keep Jake built up and have Jake just taunting the warrior for having taken him out. And after he beats Tito, he pulls out a bag and you think he's going to bring the snake back out. But of course, referees run in and, you know, chase him off and that ends there. From there, Jake continues, you know, talking about it. He's the man who took out the Ultimate Warrior when, you know, throughout all the years, nobody could do anything to Warrior, but he took him out. Uh, we build up to the Royal Rumble, where, of course, the winner of the Royal Rumble becomes the new WWF champion. Jake's in the match. He's, you know, just kind of there. And all of a sudden, in the middle of the match... Warrior comes back. He's not one of the participants. He just suddenly comes running out, throws Jake out of the ring, eliminates him from the rumble, and chases him to the back. We get a promo from Warrior afterwards, and, you know, he'll have something about, you know, the the venom from the snake, you know, fused with his blood and, you know, gave him new power that he will use to defeat Jake Roberts, you know, a typical warrior type stuff. And uh, this builds us up to the announcement of WrestleMania 8. The Ultimate Warrior will take on Jake the Snake Roberts. But before that, we have Saturday night's main event. And it's going to be the Ultimate Warrior versus The Undertaker, who of course is still buddied up with Jake. Uh, it's a pretty, pretty even match. Undertaker's still, you know, very strong, has very strong booking going right now. 
and um, middle of the match, referee gets knocked out. Jake comes out, uh, brandishes a chair, goes for Warrior, misses. He hits Undertaker. Jake runs. Warrior covers the Undertaker, gets the three count. Warrior wins, has more momentum going into WrestleMania when he will take on Jake. Then we go kind of again where we actually went. Jake appears on the funeral parlor, but instead of, you know, him questioning The Undertaker, you know, Paul Bear and The Undertaker are, are angry with him because he cost The Undertaker the match, he hit him with a chair, and then things go the same way they did. He locks Undertaker's hand in a coffin, DDTs Paul Bear, and just beats Undertaker with a chair as The Undertaker stalks him back to the locker room. This brings us to WrestleMania. Ultimate Warrior versus Jake the Snake Roberts. Pretty even match. You know, Jake's, you know, sticking and moving, kind of avoiding tr getting too close to Warrior. Eventually, he hits the DDT. Covers him. One, two, kick out. Jake's getting frustrated now. The match continues on a little bit. After a little while, Jake manages to hit a second DDT. And again, covers him. One, two, kick out. At this point, Jake is like, you know what? Screw it. This is not worth it. He leaves the ring, starts to head to the back. When all of a sudden, The Undertaker comes out. Stalks him back to the ring. Warrior gets a hold of him. Throws him back in the ring. Hits the gorilla press. Hits a big splash. But then goes and hits it a second time. And then a third time before finally going for the cover. One, two, three. Ultimate Warrior wins. He gets his revenge on Jake and can now move on. You could then have Warrior show up in the main event to help Hogan like he actually did. And if Jake were to stick around after this, which I know he didn't, but if he were, you now have him set for a feud with The Undertaker. And that is how I would have booked The Ultimate Warrior versus Jake the Snake Roberts. What do you guys think? Uh, do you like how I put it together? Would you guys have done it differently? If so, let me know in the comments. I'd love to know uh, what ideas you guys would have had for this feud. Well, that's all I've got on this one. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe. It really does a lot to help me out. And until next time.